Hi, I'm Nancy Stowes, food editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Welcome to CounterPoints. Today's topic is pumpkins, which are a squash equally good for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. Today we're going to talk about how to extract the seeds from the pumpkin and roast them uh, for a snack. Uh, first of all, should you use jack-o'-lantern pumpkins for eating or should you buy these smaller pie pumpkins? You want to buy the small ones. The big pumpkins, first of all, one thing about vegetables is the, the younger they are, the sweeter they are, and the less fibrous and starchy they are. So if you're going to go through the work of making a pumpkin pie using the, the, the mm -hmm. fresh pumpkin, you want the small pumpkins. Okay. So how do you attack this thing, first of all, and get the seeds out? Get a nice sharp knife, and uh, we're just going to cut it right down the middle here. So through the stem. You can take the stem off, too. It doesn't really matter. And so now we have our two halves here. And uh, one of the things you'll find with these smaller pumpkins, if you've, if you've ever gone through that work of making a jack-o'-lantern, and you know how stringy and fibrous, these are a lot easier to work with. This, this uh, flesh is a lot softer. As I said, there's more sugar in these than there is mm -hmm. uh, in the bigger pumpkins. As, as they mature, they get real starchy and fibrous. So we're going to scoop these out. And what I'm going to do is just put these seeds right onto this sheet tray here. Do you separate them then from the... I, I've found that that's the best way to, to do this is to just go in here and just pull out the seeds. And you're going to get a little bit of, of this uh, membrane on there from the inside. Um, when, you, when we roast them, you'll see that that just uh, flakes off. So you want to take out most of this real uh, fibrous part here. And, you know, you could put this into a bowl of water and it will separate too. Um, I find it's just as easy to do this. And then, you know, separate them out. So you don't need to rinse them off or anything? There really isn't any need to. Okay. So when you get your seeds, uh, what I like to do is um, oil them just a little bit. We're going to sprinkle a little oil on here. Is that just regular vegetable oil? Just plain vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could use different types of oil. You could put a little olive oil on there. That would make it, give it a little bit different um, flavor to it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. And then just very gently uh, roast them in about a 350 degree oven until they get a nice golden brown. They crisp up a little bit. And about how long does that take? Maybe about uh, 20, 30 minutes. You have to keep an eye on them. You know. right. uh, can you roast squash seeds too, like um, from a butternut squash or? Yes, in fact, uh, in the restaurant here at school, we make uh, like butternut squash soup. We'll take the seeds, same thing, do it the same way, sprinkle them on the soup as a little garnish. So any, any of those seeds, they're very edible and they're good for you too. Okay, great. 